What we're simulating here is a base defense scenario where you may have a radio that's off post that may be a threat and you want to first identify that it's there and then verify what it actually is. We've got two of our aerial drones. One has got a camera on board. The other has got an RF spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer is able to detect that energy and then give us a direction. We're hoping to then identify it with the overhead camera on the drone and then sick the dog on the actual emitter itself. Today we're testing out the Flying Cowlink system. It's basically some unmanned aerial systems, one of which is the Flying Cow. That's basically a cell tower on wings. Our Flying Cow can stay up 24 hours a day. At 400 feet, we can get up to 240 square miles of coverage to up to 7,500 simultaneous connected users. Our unmanned aerial system is also equipped not only with the radio to provide LTE service, but it's also got an electro-optical and infrared camera on board as well to get you that eye-in-the-sky look that could be very helpful for uh, perimeter defense and those sorts of things. We are, for the first time, connecting our flying cow to multiple types of backhaul simultaneously. We are connecting to low Earth orbit satellites, also to geostationary satellites at the same time, plus fiber, optic cable, so that we get the optimum experience, the fastest backhaul and the strongest signal. The ability to recover from network outages in a deployed location is vital. If you have two or three backhaul options, uh, if one of them goes down, you may not even notice because of the technology that we're using here. Each vendor here is coming with some really unique and robust technologies that are really exciting on their own. When you integrate that together on the AT&T network, it's amazing. When you have the redundancy of multiple satellite systems providing backhaul, when you have the public network and the private network working together, you have cows and dogs working together. It's, it's amazing when you bring all of this together that the capability that becomes available to our customers. If you're in a deployed location, you're going to want to send folks out beyond your immediate perimeter. And the UAS provides you that broad area coverage and also keep an eye on them. Identifying RF energy that may be coming from various places, our drone is ideal for that as well. You know, the robot dog is a great augmentation to security forces personnel. They can send the dog into places that they may not wish to go to immediately. And then tying it all together through a common operational picture so we can display all the video feeds coming off of the drones, off of the robot dogs, some open source data as well. I'm really kind of connecting everything and giving commanders an amazing situational awareness of, of what's happening on their post. We're monitoring the, the telemetry on the drone because the drone's in the air 24 hours a day. We need to make sure we know what each subsystem on the drone, how it's doing. We have our cameras streaming video and thermal imagery. We have the RF spectrum analyzer and all of that information is fed to the common operating picture in the command center. This is a robust, redundant system so that we can deploy it anywhere, anytime. And if any part of the system goes down, we have another part to take its place and keep that connectivity going. So no disruption to the user. This is really a proof of concept. We took a lot of fantastic capabilities that kind of exist on their own and are integrating them all together and really showing the power of, of networking. You know, using LTE and 5G, we can provide connectivity that opens up a vast array of different capabilities. Not just military use cases, but civilian use cases, disaster recovery sorts of things. And also, you know, just benefit to folks that don't happen to be in a, in a densely populated area.